Hi, this is Joe again with another review. And since we just finished uh, the name doing this video, Shark Week on Discovery Channel had just ended. But now the Sci Fi Channel is getting into the act by doing its an annual, guess, I guess it's going to be annual now, the own version of Shark Week. And of course, it's going to end with the world premiere of Shark Nino 5. Which I'm eventually going to do a, a review of when I see it next week. But in the meantime, they're doing new uh, shark movies. <coughs> One of those cheesy action uh, adventure. Excuse me, adventure. <coughs> it's going to be action adventure films with crazy computer animated sharks attacking people. Kind of like with shark, shark NATO. The Sharknado became such a big thing. Well, they had other shark movies before shark, the Sharknado franchise started in 2013. But since Sharknado became such a huge hit on Sci Fi Channel, they're making other shark related films. And this one is one of them. And there's the Five Headed Shark Attack. Yes, that's the name of the movie Five Headed Shark Attack. And of course, it was Nikki Howard, and she is smoking hot. I'm telling you, she is smoking hot, this, this girl. Um, she plays a marine biologist working in a aquarium down in Puerto Rico. And while she was working there, she found out, or her team finds out, that there's this multi-headed shark attacking people in Puerto Rico. In this particular, in, in, in one of the bays, or in the island just off of the main island of Puerto Rico. So, her boss, who was a complete a-hole in the film, once... Uh, Dr. Yost, so, well, something to call him Dr. Yo, you know, for, for sure, as a nickname, and her team to go find the shark and try and capture it. Well, that didn't work out too well as one of the people on the team, Sean, who, like, stereotypical movie, horror movie, the black guy got it first. When the Sean is a black guy, he got attacked first by, by his, when he thought it was a four headed shark, not a three headed shark. But as I was watching this movie, I'm like, wait a minute, the title of the movie is Five Headed Shark Attack, and you only see four heads. Where the hell is the fifth head? And of course, about 45, 50 minutes into the film, uh, you see the fifth head, and it's on the tail. So this shark has no tail. It has four heads in the front, and one head in the back. Uh, I am not kidding. I mean, how the hell they make this shit up? I, I have no idea. I wonder what what this what these writers of these sci-fi channel movies were smoking. I mean, I mean, seriously. And of course, also in this movie, I should mention that there is a shark NATO reference in this movie. Uh, and one of the people who didn't believe there was a four head, four a uh, three headed shark out there. And originally, it was a three. Suppose I thought it was a three headed shark. You know, it turned to be a, four, a five headed shark. And so, what's next? Sharks flying through the air through tornadoes? Th flying through a tornado and, and eating people? So, so, that of course is a reference to, of course, the Shark NATO uh, franchise. So, they go out and they find like, the Shark Hunter. And they, of course, they track down this. Uh, the rest of the movies, them tracking down the shark. It's kind of like. It's kind of like a. a, poor, a well, I was want to say a Puerto Rican version of, of Jaws. So the original Jaws movies, of course, were in Cape Cod. This one is in Puerto Rico. So, of course, it's not that much different than Jaws. It's like there's maybe a sci-fi version or an updated version of that genre, of the Jaws genre. And instead of just being one great white shark, it's like a five-headed great white shark. Um, the effects were kind of cool. I thought it was interesting. And kind of an interesting premise, but those of you who saw the original George movies are going to say, Oh, this is another retread of George. Uh, you know, which it is, but I have to tell you that all the girls in this movie were smoking hot. I mean, there's about maybe about three or four girls in this movie, and all of them were hot. And uh, especially in the beginning, when you see Sky on the boat, when you see when they, when they had the first shark attack, uh, you have about three or four girls in smoking hot. Michael bikinis. I mean, and he's like, damn, this goes a ha. And and then of course you see the one who plays Doctor Yost. She's also smoking hot, and you, and you do see a lot of shots in this movie 
when you see a lot of boob shots. Uh, what, I mean, what I mean by that, I don't mean to say mean nudity. There's no nudity in this thing. But because it's a sci fi channel, they have to comply with the FCC, so you really don't see any nudity per se. But what I mean by boob shots is when Dr. Yost and some of the other girls on this on this team, there's about the two other girls. When they go down the steps, they focus on their boobs. As they walk up or down a flight of stairs on the boat. So that's what I mean by boob shots. I mean, they focus on on their boobs, even though you don't... It's, it's like watching Baywatch, almost. When they focus on Pam Anderson's boobs you know, on, on Baywatch, that's what this was. Uh, I mean, damn, they focus on the boob shots? <laughs> I mean, it was that kind of a cheesy, cheesy thing. Uh... I don't know if it's intentional or not, but but it's where the camera angle is, and they focus on kind of such an angle that when the girls and and, for, and they did the same thing for for um, the short country, Red, his name was Red. When he goes up and down the same staircase on the boat, they have the same camera angle. So it's like it's you know it's fair they did it for both for both the guy and and the, and the women on the on this movie, but they did it more often for the women, focusing on the boobs that go up and down the stairs. So, Damn, this goes high. And especially when Nikki Howard who played Dr. Dr. Yost. I mean, she was hot. And then, of course, for most of the second half of the movie, you see her in a bikini. And I'm like, damn, what a great thing. And, and it's getting a little pervy now. I said, damn. You know, this, this girl should be, a, should be a model with the body that she has. I mean, that, that's how great of a bikini body she has. Unfortunately, the other girl who survives is one girl who who does get attacked by the uh, by the sharks, and the the other girl that's there. I mean, they were hot, but only Doctor Yost was the only one who who you physically saw in a bikini. The other two girls, you can tell they're wearing a bikini top, and they have like another top, another like a tank top over the bikini, or over the bikini tops. So I said, "Damn, take off the top!" I'm like, "Take off the tops!" You know. So some hot girls in bikinis, you know. So so some more hot girls. Uh, that's what I felt. I was watching this thing. I mean, I mean but regardless, this movie did kind of have, have my interest a little bit. Uh, because because not only because of the hot girls, of course, but because of this, you know, trying to see the 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 shark. I'm trying to find it, find out where's the fifth head on the shark. I'm trying to look and say, where's the fifth head on the shark. Uh, because like I said earlier, you only see four heads. I'm like, where's the fifth head? And that was the one thing it took too long for them to show where the fifth head is. I mean, they put one head in the tail and four heads, in, you know, where the, the normal head of a shark should be. And I thought that was kind of really, really silly. I thought it would be damn cool if we saw like five heads in front. But they didn't do that. And so, as the movie was going on, I'm like, where's the fifth head? I said to my father, I said, I was, said, said to my father, we both were watching it, and I said, where's the fifth head on the shark? Where's the fifth head on the shark? And, and he said, holy shit, it's in the tail. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, it was silly what, the way they did it. I thought it would be cool if they had like a multi-headed shark, but they advertised it for five heads, and you see only four. For more, you know, for the most of the movie, and then you saw the, the tail that was the head there. And I'm like, they couldn't put in that front. I guess they couldn't technically with the special effects put in the front. But they put in the back. And it was... When they did that, I thought it was kind of silly. And they, they just said, forehead of shark. That, that, that'd been alright, but they pushed it with the five-headed shark thing. Uh, but like I said, actually, of course, the shark, of course, gets killed. Jaws style. I mean, get, they blew up the shark in the end of the movie. And that's how, you know, spoiler... That's how Five Pad Shark Attack ended. So that's my review of, of Five Pad Shark Attack. Please click on the video, please read it. Feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my videos and all on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. That's all W D Y the letter C dot com. There's a homepage with Rally Reviewer, Chris Lee Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thank you for watching and Catch you next time.